My name is Philip Franklin Lee, and I'm the chef and owner of Scratch Restaurants Group out of Southern California. We own and operate, or own and operate sometimes, several restaurants in Los Angeles, Scratch Bar and Kitchen, Pasta Bar, two sushi bars, Leviathan, and we've got a sushi bar up in Montecito as well. We are here in Austin, Texas, in our new sushi bar that started as a pop-up. Basically, back in December, the California government shut down all outdoor dining. Unfortunately, we tried to pivot to takeout, and it just, it just didn't work. We were forced to essentially lay off all of our teams right before Christmas, and didn't sit well with us at all. So we basically went and said, is anyone willing to relocate? And a good amount of our team was willing to relocate. So I flew out to Austin. I only had about 12 hours that I could be in town. I got here at 4 p.m met Adam, who took me around town and introduced me to a bunch of uh, different chefs and owners and restaurateurs, and one of them was Leanne, who does own Bento Picnic. We met, we sat down, we chatted, and uh, eight days later, we were open to the public here at Bento Picnic. It was thrown together. I mean, it was like, you know, I had the boys prepping everything in LA, they filled coolers. I got out here two nights before we opened the public and basically went to Floor and Decor and bought some butcher block, uh, you know, went to Target and bought some curtains, just completely thrown together. The guys landed at 6 p.m. the night before we opened and we're all, you know, getting like hundreds and hundreds of pounds of, of coolers off of the plane. Uh, get over here, we get to the restaurant at 9 p.m. before the night we open, just throw it all together and opened at 5 p.m. for our first sold out night of seating. It was right around the time that stage five was declared in Austin, so nobody wanted to promote it. It's very difficult to get word out, so we just sent out a newsletter to our community in, in Los Angeles saying, hey, if you know anyone in Austin, tell them we're coming to town. And so we had some reservations. We got here, word of mouth started to happen. People in town started to come. The full month of January, it sold out by like January 9th or 10th. The day after we sold out was the, the night that Joe Rogan came in. I think everyone knows that story. Now we're now sold out through the end of March. with almost 20,000 people on the wait list. We now are turning this pop-up into a full-time brick-and-mortar restaurant here, and we're super excited. We used to be behind Bento Picnic, now we're behind Sabasan. Sabasan's is this really cool little Japanese wine shop, and so the idea is we're hidden behind the shop in sort of this old sake cellar. We've upgraded from, <laughs> from a butcher block that was sitting on top of a table to a 16-foot local pecan tree. We ran all the way through January and then we stopped February 1. Today is February 9th and we open tomorrow in our new and improved real sushi bar. So we're here with the team at Minamoto Sea Change. They are a local purveyor of seafood here in Austin, Texas. They sell to just the best restaurants in town. And so Adam Brick, who's the one who actually introduced me to Leanne at Bento Picnic, works here in sourcing all of the domestic fish, even to the point where he can tell us what the name of the captain is, the name of the boat, and what day each one of these fish were pulled out of the water, which is absolutely amazing. So we're actually here today sourcing fish, selecting fish, and the team's breaking down fish for the opening right now. At Sushi Bar, being an omakase-only restaurant, we absolutely are looking for the best products from all over the world. So it's really awesome to be in a place like Austin and find the best products that really are from here, but also from all over the world. So for example, Adam's got this red snapper from Louisiana that's actually Ikejime on the boat. They've got the best fish domestically. They're also bringing stuff in from Japan, and it's just an awesome place to be working with. So we got all of our fish from Minamoto, broken down. We're back in the restaurant. Tomorrow is opening night, and the team and I are going to test out some of the dishes. The way service pretty much works, we have two stations where each one of the chefs will slice, form, and then pass to me in the center, and then I sort of have all of my finishings here. We're all finished, and then we pass it out together. So tonight, we're gonna play with four dishes. We're gonna have hamachi with sweet corn pudding, sourdough bread crumbs, homemade soy sauce, and fresh wasabi. Big Glory Bay salmon out of New Zealand. That's going to be done with a bit of local Texas olive oil, some salt we made from matcha green tea, mushrooms, and kelp. Hit that with a blowtorch and then finish it with the homemade soy sauce, fresh lemon, some sea salt that we imported from Bali, and a little bit of the stem of the wasabi root that's been chopped and pickled. After that, we will have some roasted local Texas longhorn bone marrow, and that's gonna be served very simply with soy sauce, wasabi, and sea salt. And last but not least, fresh eel that we are going to fry in bone marrow fat. 
and then finish with soy, ponzu, lemon, sea salt, and a little bit of yuzu kosho made from local poblano peppers. So there you have it. This is just a quick little sampling, four courses of the 17 we normally do here at Sushi Bar. We're just doing whatever it takes to make it happen.